and thank you for joining me today. Uh, my name is Lauren Dickey, and I am a customer success specialist here at Bullhorn. I'm very excited to have the opportunity today to present um, an introduction to the Bullhorn mobile app, as well as discuss the configuration uh, as well. So we'll go ahead and kind of get started here. Uh, the Bullhorn mobile app is really easy to get started with, uh, and in a fast-paced industry like recruiting, mobile phones can be a big part in our day-to-day. Uh, so it's a really great way for us to stay connected with and update our database on the go. Uh, today, we're going to discuss how to access the application, some examples of how to use Bullhorn Mobile, as well as how to configure the app for your uh, optimization of the team's experience in the application. So we'll get started first with how to download the application. Uh, the Bullhorn Mobile app is available uh, in both app stores, the Apple Store as well as Google Play. You'll search for Bullhorn Mobile in your app store and select the option to install. It's important to note that your company first must have mobile access enabled by Bullhorn support in order to use the app. So if you're unable to log in or receiving an error, please uh, contact your account or support contact uh, to have them reach out to Bullhorn support and they'll be able to enable this free of charge. Once the download is complete, you can access the application using your Bullhorn credentials. You'll then immediately be able to view up to the moment information on your records. That'll provide you with all the necessary information you may need for client meetings or simply working on the go. The app is uh, essentially a more compact version of the Bullhorn you're already familiar with. So you'll see actions uh, similar to being able to add appointment types or uh, view record lists, as well as search uh, and filter within each of those lists, just like you're used to uh, within Bullhorn. Because the application is intended for mobile, I've taken some screenshots from my test environment to provide an example of what we can expect to see in the application. So here we see our login screen, as well as the welcome screen we're presented with when we first log into the application. You can notice at the bottom here, there are icons that will take us to each one of our individual lists for candidates, contacts, companies, and jobs. In this example, I've gone directly to the candidate list on the right-hand side. You can see within the candidate list, I have the ability to sort and filter at the top. I also have the ability to add an additional record by selecting the plus icon. And I also have the ability to access the quick search by selecting the magnifying glass icon. In the candidate list, we're also able to view existing records as well as add additional candidate records. Some examples of that are provided on this slide. When we're viewing an existing record, we can see that there are a blue mail icon and a blue phone icon next to our email and phone numbers. These allow us to email and make calls directly from the application by allowing Bullhorn to access those applications on your device. In the top right-hand corner of our records, we'll see a three dot icon that gives us more options to select from. Here we can add submissions, notes, appointments or tasks or choose to edit a record. I've provided some examples of the actions here, but as you can see, this pre-populates with the information just like you would be used to within Bullhorn. As you can see here, we do have the option to select additional lists, not just candidates. And these options that we've discussed about filtering, sorting, adding and editing records are also available uh, within these lists as well. So navigating from contacts to companies is really seamless. We can see here on a company record, we can also view all the activity on this particular company. So we can also narrow down into notes or submissions um, from any specific entity. The last icon that's available on our default screen is the jobs icon. Moving into the more option, we get the ability to select placements, submissions, appointments, tasks, and tear sheets. Uh, 
And for um, the users on enterprise, they will also have the options to select leads and opportunities. As you can see, we moved into the submission list on the right hand, as well as the appointments. We can access our tier sheets as well. And um, on the far right hand side here, I've actually entered into a tier sheet. You can see at the top, they're able to toggle between the different entities that have been created and added to that tier sheet uh, for easy navigation within the application. It's important to note that the only record that cannot be added or edited within the mobile application is the placement record. These records can be viewed, uh, sorted, filtered within the app, but they cannot be created. They will need to be created from the desktop version. And as I previously mentioned, uh, on enterprise, if you have the option option to use leads and opportunities, those options will be included in that more icon as well. You, we can add leads as well as sort and filter from that list view as well. So that completes an overview of the product portion of the app, but I'd like to move forward into the configuration of the application and how our admin users can add or remove fields that are viewable in the mobile application for their team. So I'm going to take a brief moment and stop sharing to switch over to a different screen. Here we go. Can everyone see my board? We're going to go over here into our menu and select admin and system settings. We'll also go into admin and select view layout. In the view layout, we'll see the field map entity for the option that we'd like to edit. Here we can select, for example, the candidate record. In the view layout, we'll tab over to the option that says mobile. And here we'll be able to add and edit what is and it's not in included in the view on the mobile application for our team. This will be effective uh, for the whole company, not just on a individual user letter level. So it's important to make sure that these adjustments uh, are suitable for the entire team. We can, however, uh, for example, say add the nickname into the view for mobile by moving it over to this list. I can then also move the nickname portion up within the list so that it appears within the name. If I were to want to remove this field from the view in mobile, I can then simply move this back to the excluded from view field. I'll see that at the bottom here. Anything that is excluded will not be able to be viewed on the mobile application. Anything that is included will be. And it's important to note that you can do this on any individual entity. So your candidates or jobs also have individual configurations for mobile. Some of the best use applications here are primarily to be able to use the application in a way that allows you to work uh, on the go. So I know a lot of our clients like to use this for when they're on site with our employees, which uh, has been a little less frequent throughout uh, the last year or so. But as we're moving forward and uh, it's definitely something that we can utilize to enhance our overall experience within Bullhorn, as well as make notes uh, in a live experience so that we can uh, move forward with any appointments that we need to uh, without needing to pull our laptop out. I know the uh, application is pretty straightforward, um, uh, but I would like to open the floor for any additional questions um, as well as um, really um, 
any additional add-ons you may have, Sarah? Nope. All set. Mm -hmm. You ready to move to Q and A? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd like to open the floor for any additional questions. Awesome. Well, it looks like we've got a couple here. It looks like we're going to wrap up early today. Um, so our first question is getting an error when attempting to log into the Bullhorn app. Who should I contact for help? Uh, the Bullhorn support team can help with that. Uh, your account or uh, support contact at your company can assist you with getting in contact with the Bullhorn support team to assist with any login issues you're having. Great. Thank you. Our next question is what app stores offer the Bullhorn mobile app? Uh, those app stores are the Google Play and uh, Apple stores. Okay. Our next question is, uh, what is the difference between using the Bullhorn mobile site and the Bullhorn mobile app? So we actually have a really great article on this in our knowledge base, um, but there is a full comparison on the mobile site to mobile app. I'd like to actually share that with you. So what we can see here is that uh, we actually have uh, the ability to view all records uh, and edit all records um, within the mobile website. In the mobile app, the only exception here is the placements. The primary advantage is being able to see all activity within the application versus the website. Great, thank you. And we're actually gonna go ahead and share that article when we do the follow-up email after this, so everyone will have access to that. Yes, um, absolutely. Just, uh, one more question. Someone's wondering, is the mobile app live for users today? Uh, so it may be live um, in, it, it is for most uh, Bullhorn users, but in the event that you are unable to log in, uh, Bullhorn support is able to enable the uh, mobile application for you. Great, thank you. And we're getting a handful of questions about folks who had some technical issues at the beginning. I just wanted to remind everyone that this video will be available for viewing again after the fact when we send the follow-up information with some, some articles that may answer some of your outstanding questions. We'll also send a recording of this webinar so everyone will have access to that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. We actually do have some questions remaining that would be better for us to answer offline. So we'll follow up in the next 24 hours with that email and we'll follow up in the next week with all of the questions that we didn't get to. Um, I just want to remind everyone that anytime you wanna register for a webinar, you should check out events. or sorry, it's bullhorn.com slash events. That's where all of our webinars live. If you're looking for additional training resources, don't forget to log into the Learning Hub through the customer community at help.bullhorn.com. And that's it for today. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.